Sparky here, hello. Kia ora, quickie. This is a free to view video about retroactive jealousy. What do you do if you suffer from retroactive jealousy and it spells the end of your relationship? Okay. Well, first of all, if that's happened to you, I'm really sorry. You know, that's, that's, I really feel for you. That's going to be horrible. That's going to be miserable. The temptation is going to be to, uh, because you're, you'll start to feel better if you remain single. If you don't get back together and you remain single, the, single, the RJ will appear to go away. So the natural inclination is to ignore it. There's a, a, a phenomenon uh, in, uh, in psychotherapy and all kinds of um, mental health support that they call the flight into wellness. Uh, which is when somebody has a little bit of therapeutic input, they feel slightly better, they're not as miserable as they were before, and then they disappear. And this is particularly true for things, conditions that carry a lot of stigma and shame, like for example, with addiction and alcoholism. Somebody feels a little bit better, they have a period of abstinence, and then they stop seeing the support networks that they're seeing because they feel ashamed, they just want to be normal. Uh, and then without the support networks that were helping them, they end up coming back. So this is kind of slightly different because it's not through having done some therapeutic work, it's through the fact that the trigger for the retroactive jealousy has gone. So therefore the retroactive jealousy isn't triggered. So it's very, very easy to think to yourself, oh, well, you know, it probably won't come back again, you know, or, you know. And also kind of, you know, you can go through those kind of thoughts at that point in your life where you think, oh, I'm not going to have a relationship again. You know, that's a very cool one. I'm just not going to have a relationship. And you'll think that now, but you won't think that in six months. It's very unlikely. I certainly won't think it any year. So, uh, and relationships tend to strike from, you know, where, where you, when you least expect them. So, what I would strongly, strongly urge you to do is to carry on doing the therapeutic work, work in your program, whatever support you're getting to deal with retroactive jealousy. Do it as a singleton. Keep doing the work because Otherwise, the inevitable will happen. You can forget about it. You can do, you, you know, you can be an ostrich, put your head in the sand. And that's very tempting. You know, it's understandable. I don't blame you for doing that. Uh, you wait till another relationship comes along and then you'll be fine in that relationship when it starts. This is, this is the thing. You'll be fine for a little while and it will probably kick in four to six months in, which is what generally happens. Or it might kick in even later. So RJ is a patient little beastie, it's a little kind of monster that kind of will sit on your shoulder quietly for as long as it needs to until your guard is down and then it will pounce. And it will pounce when you get into a relationship with somebody that you really love and that you really value and you think this is going somewhere. You could have a lot of relationships that are kind of fun, you know, um, kind of a little bit more um, casual, but you know, they're not setting a setting the world on fire they're kind of okay so you know you might have a partner for a while no rj and you think it's gone <clears throat> it'll wait until you get a really good relationship that's what it does okay so obviously I mean, it's not for although i do occasionally literally do wag my finger figuratively um i'm <laughs> it's not a case of um of me telling you what to do but you know i want to save you some pain and I would really strongly advise that stay with it. It's gonna be hard because you're not gonna have the motivation. Pain is a great motivator, so the pain goes away, you know, there's not gonna be much to kind of keep you motivated. But this is where, again, you know, I talk a lot about therapy. The beauty of therapy is that if you work with a therapist, you get that holistic support. They're working with the whole of you, not just your retroactive jealousy. So they'll support you through the, the grief and loss at the end of the relationship. They'll support you through a whole range of other things. They'll help you grow as a person and help you work through your retroactive jealousy if you get the specialist therapist so if this has happened to you i'm really sorry i really feel for you but in the words of churchill never give up never give up never give up rangy marie